I'm in Hartford this morning with the More Than Pink Walk, where preparation is underway. Good morning, Leah. Good morning, Caitlin. Yes, I am here at Bushnell Park, and like you said, things are getting underway. We have a production team on uh, on. Uh, the park right now and as you can see behind me they're fixing up some audio things but the rain is coming down and that's not going to put a stop to the event they said that it is rain or shine but they are being very watchful for lightning and also you can see behind me that there are some tents back here rain pro protocols and what you guys can expect for the event for now live at Bushnell Park Aaliyah Red Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Aaliyah, thank you. Shine, the Susan G. Komen More Than Pink walk is on. Right after the break, we are going to tell you all the rain measures they're putting into place to make sure you stay, stay as dry. Live in Hartford, where their annual More Than Pink walk is going to get underway today. Hey, good morning, Aaliyah. So, looks like preparation's already underway there. Good morning, Caitlin. Yes, preparation is underway. The production team actually just put up the starting balloon right here behind me. So the More Than Pink Walk is getting ready to head off at 8.45 a.m. And right now I am actually joined by Liz Strawn, who is the director of development. Liz, it's a wet one, but we are looking to have fun today. We sure are. Today is a celebration of all the efforts, both within the, the team and all your fundraising efforts to just come here, celebrate hope, celebrate life, and really just feel that pink wave absolutely and now it is like I said a wet one on the way in really coming down it's lightened up a little bit but we have some measures put in place for folks who are coming out it's still happening it is definitely still happening but we do have measures in place safety is our first and most priority for our participants we have protocols in place in case anything gets too too wet to to anything we have um, a, a plan in place that will keep everyone safe Absolutely, and like the production team was telling me, they are letting the event go on rain or shine, but, but they are monitoring mm -hmm. for lightning. Absolutely. If, in, the, in that case, we will direct everyone back to their vehicles. Uh, there's a 30-minute kind of time delay that, you know, we would go without another lightning strike and to bring everyone back. So we definitely have all of that in place, and we'll be ready to put pull it out if necessary. Right, everything is ready in place and it's still going on right now. It's starting at 8.45 a.m. So make sure you guys come out. There will be plenty of things to come and do to remember those who have suffered with breast cancer or are still battling. But for now, live at Bushnell Park, Aaliyah Red, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. This morning where the More Than Pink Walk is going to get underway in just a few hours. Good morning, Aaliyah. This is a big event in Hartford. Good morning, Caitlin. Yes, it is a very big event in Hartford. And as you can see, we have moved inside to a registration tent. And it's stopped raining right now, but the good news is even if it does rain again, the event is happening, rain or shine, but uh, they are looking out for uh, lightning. But I am joined now by Don Thomas, who is a committee member. Thank you so much, Don, for joining me. Tell me about what happens right here in this tent. Well, good morning. How are you? Um, so this is registration and a registration Registration is going to open at 7 a.m. If you are pre-registered, you're going to come in here, check in. You're going to get your wrap, which we'll I'm sure we're going to talk about in a second. And if you're not registered, you could register on site. Registration is free for everyone. Um, and the tent opens at 7, um, and some activities will start at 9.15, and the walk is going to kick off at 10. All right. Registration does start, uh, or this is where registration takes place. Correct. And after you register, you get one of these cool Coleman wraps, and once you get them, you just twirl them around, or a little better than I do. Yeah. Me too. And what do these stand for? So these represent the four pillars are common, okay. which stick really? for other uses. Yeah, so. some great information that you're sharing with us right now, Don. But we are going to send it back to you guys in studio. But we will have more coming up in our next half hour on the Komen or uh, Susan G. Komen walk live at the Bushnell Park. Aaliyah Red, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Aaliyah, thank you. And we are getting ready to paint the park pink with these fun guys here. We're going to tell you coming up after the break how these help raise money for research. This morning with more on how you can donate. Good morning. Good morning, Caitlin. Yes, I am joined by Nicole Marone, who is the executive director of Susan G. Komen, the New England region. And she's here to tell us all about the donation drop-off. And donations really go towards research and community, right? Absolutely. So the funds that we raise today go towards um, the research that we have throughout 
the United States as well as about 15 million that's currently here in New England, about 2 million happening at Yale currently. Absolutely. So we're seeing some money used right here in Connecticut. They're doing research at Yale. Tell us about some of that research. Absolutely. So our research is really focused on all types of breast cancer, a very big component. About 70% of our research is fo focused on metastatic breast cancer, which is the breast cancer that you can die from. So we really are focused on attacking that community first and then working as well on um, helping with other treatments and um, other therapies as well. Right, and funding those uh, research efforts are donations that can be brought right here today as in, or for example, these tutus, they can be purchased today. How much are they? They're $20 donation uh, for uh, the for the fight against breast cancer. And yes, we're, we can accept donations. We can accept any type of donation today, but we're really trying to raise funds here in Connecticut. So we're hoping everybody comes out and supports the community. Absolutely. And now you can get a free tutu when you come and register uh, uh, with a $20 donation. You can get one of these guys for free. And it goes all towards the research that's happening for breast cancer. But we're going to send it back to you guys in studio. Live from Bushnell Park, Aaliyah Red, Channel 3 Eyewitness News is live there this morning and doesn't look like the rain is stopping supporters. You got a nice crowd behind you there. Yeah, Caitlin, we definitely have a nice crowd behind me. There's plenty of umbrellas and ponchos out here, but people have showed up and here to tell us actually about the opening ceremony that is happening right now. And might I mention that WFSB is the official media sponsor and you can probably hear our very own Kara Sundlin, but yeah, opening ceremony is happening. What's going on right now? So right now, Kara has just kicked off the opening ceremony. We're waiting for our survivors to proceed to the main stage. Um, we're getting ready to kick the Things off. People are in the tent still because it's pouring out, but uh, registration, we've got sponsors, we remember our Folk Village, top fundraisers, we have a lot going on today, and so many people came out to embrace this weather. Right, <laughs> I mean, grateful. only an hour ago, we were looking and the field was kind of empty, but folks did show up, so this is a very important cause for them. How does it feel to know that folks still showed up and they're showing out? It's amazing. It's truly amazing. They, these teams are so dedicated to their loved ones that is either fighting breast cancer or, an honor, or walking in honor of someone that's passed away. So it's really, we're tremendously grateful for the show of support today. It's awesome. Absolutely. It is awesome to see everyone out here. And uh, coming up in a couple of minutes, they're actually getting ready to step off. And they are going to march around Bushnell Park. And then they're going to end at Hope Village. We will have more from Hope Village coming up in the last half hour. So stay tuned for that. Sending it back to the studio live in Hartford, Aaliyah Red, Channel 3. Eyewitness News. Okay, Aaliyah, thank you. Eyewitness News reporter Aaliyah Red. And Aaliyah, it's a wet one, but a lot of folks showing up for this walk. How's it going out there? It is a wet one, like you said, Caitlin, but like you said as well, a lot of folks have shown up. You can see them walking right behind us. They did just step off, and they're making their way around to Hope Village. And Manning Hope Village, or she'll be in a, a moment, is Andrea, who is also the top fundraiser in Connecticut. Andrea, yeah. what's going on? How's Hope Village? Hope Village was great. It's a rainy, rainy day, as you can see, and we had so many people come through, survivors, families. We have snacks there, breakfast fist, goodie bags. It's just a wonderful place. Right. There's so many great things that are happening at Hope Village and so many things waiting for the walkers when they're done. And one of those things is this handcrafted wig, uh, what is it called? Stand? stand? Wig yes, stand. Yeah. Tell me about that. Yes. it's. Um, we had this wonderful donation of two boxes of beautiful hand-carved wood stands for people who are going through radiation or chemotherapy and have wigs. And it's just a beautiful place um, to put a wig. Wow, so many people are coming together, donating and rallying for this amazing cause. Yes, every year it's an unbelievable turnout. The fact that the, in the rain there are hundreds and hundreds of people is just a testament to, you know, how passionate people are about the cause. It's amazing to see people out here rallying. Thanks so much, Andrea. And people right now, like we said, they are painting the park pink, but they are more than pink. Pink is this color that stands for comfort and hope. And it's something that doesn't directly align with what breast cancer is, but they're presenting hope, saying that they are more than Pink live at Bushnell Park, Aaliyah Red, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Okay, Aaliyah, thank you. Well, detectives right now are in.